Welcome back to Sidelines TV. I'm here today at the Maserati U.S. Open Polo Championships at the final qualifying rounds for the U.S. Open itself. And I'm here with Lyndon Lee of the Zakara Polo Team. Lyndon, how are you? Doing well, thanks. Good. Uh, thanks for taking the time today. Um, Lyndon's team were the winners last year of the U.S. Open. And oddly enough, they're coming back to this, this season with the exact same team. That really rarely happens. How did that happen for you? I don't know. I didn't have anything to do with the handicaps, but I guess they're just fortunate. Um, the team came together really at a late stage last year because it wasn't the same team that we won with that we started the season with. We actually replaced uh, one player with Mike Azaro. And, um, you know, I think we, um, we had the good fortune. We, uh, we had a good run-up in the last uh, few games for the U.S. Open and, and managed to win that. But I think, um, you know, the, the gods favored on us, and, and, and uh, we were able to keep Mike down on seven and uh, Magoo on eight. So that's great. Same team, yeah. Yeah, that's really fantastic. Um, for people that don't know also, in addition to being a high-goal polo player, you also have a real job, too, which is it's really unusual. And it's not just a regular job. You uh, are a founding partner in Lion Capital. How do you manage the two really demanding careers? Well, uh, it starts with I have three amazing assistants um, who uh, who manage my diary. Um, you know, it, it involves some uh, some compromises on the polo side. I mean, I'm not here as as often as I'd like to. Be you know, there's a lot of times when I'm in and out for games. Um, but um, it, it's really down to you know management and organization. I've got a great team at the barn. Um, you know, I don't have to worry about the horses. I've got two guys that are full-time just employed to sit on the horses, not grooms, but guys that are just to keep the horses tuned up for me, um, and um, you know, a supportive organization in terms of line capital. So uh, we make it work. Um, you know, I'm, I'm during the season here in Florida. I'm literally uh, out here for probably the Friday, Saturday, Sunday, then back for London into London during the week. So Monday through Thursday. And it's like that from you know January through early April, so it's pretty intensive on the body. But, I would uh, think so, a little yeah. grueling. Yeah, but it's worth it. You know, it keeps the adrenaline going. It's um, it's competitive. It's very much like business. So you know, it's uh, as I say, some compromises, but and a lot of effort and organization. I actually heard an interesting story of how you came to play polo. Can you tell me that? Well, I came to play polo. Um, you know, actually, for on a corporate retreat we went on uh, in uh, Palm Springs, and um, it was uh, I was building out a team at the time, and there was seven guys, and I was looking for some bonding activity, and there was guys that played golf and didn't play golf, and nobody had played polo, so I took us over to the polo club and sat on a horse for the first time, and started to trot, and I thought I was going to die, um, <laughs> but it was just like straight into the veins, you know, and I got off and bought my mallets there and my helmet and. Went back to England and bought two horses, and that's how it all started. That's fantastic. It's a great story. Yeah. It is spooky the first time, isn't it? It is. A sp well, not just the first time, the first couple of years. Yeah. So when you win the, the Open this year, what's next? <laughs> I think it's um, it's still a long putt for that. You know, I think um, it's uh, it's an amazing tournament because you've got you know, the best players in the world here and um, just some, some great teams and great competitors. You know, you've got... Valiente, obviously, who just won the Gold Cup with Adolfo Cambiasso and Perlon Pal Sterling. And mm -hmm. Bob Genovis has put so much into the game, you know, he's been great for the game and invested in the horses. And of course, you've got uh, Lechusa, which we played in the final last, last year, year yeah. with Juan Matinero and, and, and Victor, who's been, a, you know, been at this a long time. So, you know, it's, it's definitely a long road to the final from here still. So, um, but, you know, uh, one game at a time and we'll see. You know, we just... Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't think beyond this tournament. You know. Great. Well, best of luck with everything. Thank you very much. Thanks for taking the Cheers. time. Bye-bye. For Sidelines TV, I'm Rob Jordan.